Hey everyone, or guten Tag, how they would say it in Germany. Um, today I am reviewing the original Runamok Softstar shoes. And first thing I want to do is to show you these nice moccasins. Again, I took as, as my old um, Softstar Runamok Dash, I also took the wide version of these original Runamoks and they are um, so I'm, st I'm saying this because I don't want you to think they are usually so wide. Um, they also come in narrow or regular sizes or even extra wide. Um, anyway, they have a different design comparing to the Runamok Dash, which is I think a newer version. Um, here the laces are on top, so uh, they go, the laces go, they are inbuilt and they go around your ankle. And then when you put them on, um, when I was reading some reviews, um, people were saying that they are a little bit flop floppy because they don't they don't uh, tighten you tighten your ankle here, but around here. Um, but I haven't experienced any floppiness. Rather, my um, my feet are hugged quite snugly. And I still have lots of space for my toes, but um, I'm not losing the shoe um, underneath my feet, so everything is fine with regards to that. I gotta say that I got really spoiled by the original, um, not original, sorry, the, the Softstar Runamok Dash, which was my first model because I took them with a leather sole, and this leather sole is really bendy when you have the shoe on you can um, you can bend the shoe downwards really easily you can flex downwards um, with this sole this is a two millimeter Vibram sole on the original Runamox um, you you cannot bend you cannot uh, flex downwards just like this you have to stand on something then you can grab it with your foot but the sole is of course not as soft as leather sole which I really like but sometimes you, um, when there's a storm outside or something, and you have to go outside, you cannot you cannot wear the leather soles because once they get soaked in, um, they uh, they are really really slippery. Um, when I take this shoe out uh, while it's raining, um, the the um, I read on on the Softstar website I think that the the suede leather isn't naturally resistant, but I didn't uh, experience any. Uh, trouble with uh, with the rain. Of course, I, I wasn't stepping in any puddles, so I'm not saying this is waterproof, but the water doesn't soak in so easily. And of course, during the rain, the rubber sole is much better than the leather sole. So another thing about the sole is that it's flat. It doesn't have any any bigger patterns on it, uh, and it's quite dense, quite durable. Um, my preference is sometimes I like the sole to be a little bit softer which gives me more grip and while I'm walking on marble tiles or something like that it, um, it is less um, loud when it hits uh, and when you, you um, depart from the ground it produces less sound when it, the sole is a little bit softer. Um, the, the lacing system is quite unique. I haven't seen anything like this uh, before so that the lace goes around your ankle. Um, the, the, the advantage of this type of lacing is that uh, there is not much pressure not, um, not much pressure on the laces so they never come untied so you don't have to worry about that. So all in all the shoes are really great. They completely um, fulfill the standard that the soft star shoes has set up um, and uh, they're they're really um, comfortable they breathe well they feel really nice the leather feels really nice on your feet so you can also wear them without socks and they won't get smelly at all because the leather breathes pretty well uh, they are also good in rain if you take the rubber sole because the leather sole will get soaked the sole is two millimeters thick it's really flexible really bendy and for somebody who really likes the barefoot feel um, this is great for you uh, because you can feel lots of things with the two millimeter sole just be careful just keep in mind that um, 
the soul doesn't have any patterns so if you're looking for a soul that has some abrasions or something that will uh, give you uh, much more traction on grass or something then you have to consider that the soul is pretty flat. So one thing that I didn't like uh, is uh, this is probably because of the shape of my feet which are uh, really wide in front and less wide in the back um, but it's that I am when I'm walking I'm or maybe it's because of uh, of the way I walk but I am um, I'm also walking with this piece of leather instead of instead of the rubber so I'm not using the inner piece of rubber but I'm actually using the um, more than than the outer piece of rubber can offer so I'm also using this piece of leather so I'm I'm worried that this will um, that this will after some time maybe tore away but I've been I've been walking in these shoes for quite a while now and I haven't experienced any any um, any cuts or anything like that so also the leather holds pretty well so another thing worth mentioning is that I made a soft star run amok dash review uh, which is one of my first videos there you can find out more things in general about the soft star shoes and more about the leather sole and how it performs if you cannot decide whether you want to take the leather sole or the, or the rubber sole um, there is something in between I saw that soft star also has a shoe that is called Mock 3 which I'd really like to test because it seems really intriguing it, it has a rubber sole like this one that, that I've showed you but it's cut in, in more uh, patterns so it conforms better to your foot and performs performs more like your foot while you're running yeah, and I think that's all if you have any questions feel free to uh, to comment below yeah thanks